Hi everybody, all my followers, welcome to another teardown video. So the video today is on a VAS 5054A and this is the tool used uh, with Odis software for VAG group and um, I literally just got this tool as you can see the seal is intact in there manufactured on December of 2018 and uh, I got this tool I haven't even tried the tool I've only managed to link it to the software which linked OK I haven't tried on a car yet because I haven't had any uh, VAG car around here yet to try it uh, but uh, nevertheless we're gonna do a teardown video this is supposed to be uh, the full chip uh, model uh, or version I would say so it's supposed to be the full chip version uh, it's supposed to have the original Bluetooth uh, module and um, this is also a upgraded or revised hardware version uh, if you recall the old uh, VAS 5054 it used to be a little bit longer and used to have some LEDs here on the side this one doesn't have that only has an LED in there and obviously the USB port okay uh, and um, and yeah let's gonna see the quality of the PCB the quality of the soldering uh, and all that good stuff and uh, and yeah let's gonna go for it so we're gonna split this seal in two and I believe to open this tool you have these four caps here at the back we're gonna have to lift them up to reveal the screws underneath and then obviously we'll open the tool And we should be able to split this. So let's gonna cut this seal. Let me see if it splits. Yeah, it's coming out. There we go. Okay, so this is the first board we can see. Right, all right. I'm so an Infineon processor in there, uh, Samsung memories, there is one chip missing over there, but it might not be needed. Uh, down there looks like a programming port or something like that. On this side of the board, I can say that the soldering, I don't know how it comes on the camera, but the soldering looks really good. Really, really good. Yeah, it looks really good. Is is that shiny soldering, everything looks absolutely perfect. So, from here now, we have another screw here that we're gonna have to take out. It looks like this screw is holding the top board. So there is two PCBs on this. And now, yep, there we go. Now he's able to pull it out. 
and this is my other side of the board. For you guys that knows about this tool, there is the Oki Hoki chip. And uh, NXP chips. Once again, the soldering quality looks really good. Looks really good. Uh, so this top board, this bottom board, is actually soldered straight to the OBD, so it's not going to come out. Uh, and and that I'm not going to be able to split this any longer because unless I I start to desolder and stuff, so the Bluetooth module is actually soldered in there into this board and uh, the connection for the module which is right there is connect is in the next board so to to pull that out I would have to desolder this so I'm just gonna look through the board uh, there is one real in there so the Bluetooth module is a BC yeah yeah is the original thing so it's a BC 417 there is in there I don't know if you're gonna be able to see it so this module here on the side is my Bluetooth module and uh, and I think that's it I'm not gonna be able to show you much more because I don't want to have to uh, be here now splitting the tool and uh, and the soldering and stuff but uh, but I can tell you from the two sides of these boards the, the, the soldering quality is really good I mean the precision in there is, is fantastic sometimes you see like bits of solder not soldered right and stuff like that over here everything is spot on I can't see really nothing wrong really good solders there's some soldering points here that they look well they don't look they definitely have been done afterwards so soldering points I don't know how good the phone is going to be but soldering points like that see that sort of bulb in there so that's been done afterwards that one in there so this it looks like a capacitor to me that's been then has been replaced maybe this one's the same so perhaps this was a um, maybe I don't know has been reworked by someone possibly by the seller I would say and if the idea was to or if the the idea behind that was to obviously it was to supply even better quality tools. Well, I have nothing to have nothing against that. And that's it. It looks like on this board underneath there is more stuff that looks like has been soldered uh, afterwards. So, yeah, it, it really looks like it's been reworked. Yeah, it looks like this tool has been reworked. But like I said, if this in pro of a better tool you can argue with that so overall guys looking at this I'm quite happy with it um, it looks really good and like I said I haven't really tried on an, on a car yet only uh, on a connection to the PC which you worked quite well through Bluetooth and um, and these guys is the internals of a VAS 5054A of this hardware version obviously there is other other art versions but I must confess I had one of the other ones open because I used to have one and I mean obviously it might be different on the on the PCBs and stuff but the sort of shape is very well the same the the Bluetooth module uh, plugs in exactly in the same place uh, same style 
So it might be that just the layouts on the board and, and, and stuff that's been upgraded. And I think I'm going to... I think it's going to be it for this video, really, guys. Um, there's not much more to say. Um, but yeah, this the, the OK chip in there. It looks... it's Even when you look in, in between the boards, everything looks... I can't really see nothing empty in there. Unless it's going to be one of the small chips, but everything looks populated. So, it really looks like a full version uh, board. So, I think that's it. Guys, what to say? Uh, just hold on a second. Okay, guys, there's nothing I really want to do about it. I just, I was just thinking I don't want to leave you with the idea that I, I, I didn't went as far as I could. So, by lifting the board there where it connects and then just pull it enough until it comes out of the pins and then just pull it this way to disconnect the Bluetooth module right there and I can separate both boards and on the top board where we have the USB connection and where the Bluetooth module connects we have a next link in there and we have a flash memory in there and uh, once again once again there is a chip in there to be honest with you all the capacitors here it looks like they have been soldered they have been soldered afterwards so it looks like it's been reworked every single capacitor so it, they might have been replaced by better quality ones perhaps so this is one side of the board and now we're going to see the other side where the bluetooth module obviously is soldered in there so I, I, can't, I can't take it off but this is my other side of the board so we have a relay in there that looks like a quite big either voltage regulator or something along those lines uh, a TGA 10, 1050 so a CAN I believe it's a CAN uh, NXP is a CAN transducer uh, and all these chips around here guys they are branded so there's nothing so we have we have STs, we have Texas instruments in there or it looks like. And 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 once again every single solder point is absolutely perfect. Nothing to say about it. Nothing to nothing to raise concerns about. And that's it. And I think that's it guys for this video. Now I've showed you everything I could. Um, and if you are interested in buying one of these tools. Uh, this is how they should look on the inside. And uh, now yes I'm going to wrap this video. So this was the teardown of the VAS 5054. And now I'm just going to put everything back together. And hopefully soon you'll see some videos where I'm going to use it. Right. Hope there's some information in this video that you can somehow find it useful. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you do have any questions, any comments, please put them below. And I call always, guys. Thanks so much for watching.